Good morning. Good to see everybody. Obviously, it was a, uh, a great road victory for us, and just you know to really see the um, just how hard our guys fought and uh, and came together and just and really never quit, even though we had some opportunities to really maybe duck our heads a little bit and, and get down. I think you know this is exactly what we said conference play was going to be. This is what it's going to look like. There's going to be ups and downs in a game. Um, this really pleased with them. Obviously, the the contingent of fans we had that came up there and supported our guys, and and the the post game with them in our in our locker room was just was something really special. So really really excited about what they did. And then of course, you know we're right back in a conference play this week with another great opponent. Um, you know that's what we've got to do. We just can't let our highs get too highs and our lows get too low. Uh, we need another really good week of practice and and uh, prepare for a, for another quality opponent. Questions? After, I guess, having a couple days to let the win set in, does this one feel different? Just knowing the team bouncing back from what it was and the conference win right. on the road coming back from 13 down, does this one you think maybe you have more impact going forward? I think so. I mean, I think that to come back from, from a loss, to go on the road, to play a team that's, you know, had a big win against a really good opponent, you know, they're where they were offensively, and, uh, and then to be down. You know, I think you put all those components together. It was, it was really special, and I think it'll be one we can point to, you know, for a while. You know, not you know, obviously we got to come right back to it, and uh, but I, I, it was special. I think I, I heard you say, or at least I read that you said after the game, we just told our guys not to look at the scoreboard. Right. I mean, is that a growing point for this team? Like, basically, don't worry about. Yes. I think it is, and I think that's really the nature of a lot of us. Are, you know, this. I know today's game with offenses being what they are. You know, you've got to, you just got to play through the highs and lows, and just said we're going to be positive. We're going to encourage each other no matter what happens. And I mean, and then it came to bear. You know, I mean, we really had to to do that, coaches and players. But I think if you watched our sideline, you watched how we came out after halftime. Uh, it's amazing how many people commented to me just what our demeanor looked like. You know, our players, our coaches, uh, there was no heads down. And that's, that's easy for me to say, but to see them do it, I was, I was really pleased. Uh, you know, just the overall attitude and effort throughout the game. Do you think there's a potential for complacency coming up this week? There's, uh, I don't see how. You know, I think I tried to say two weeks ago about who I thought FIU was and nobody wanted to listen to me. Um, you know, about from a point spread or who we are. I just really think, you know, if you just look at our conference, there's not a lot of difference in any of us. And so it's a week to week, game to game. And, and we told our team it's not necessarily even who's got the best players or, or maybe even the best team is who's the best team that day. And we want, you know, we just want to be the best team that day. Um, but I don't, I don't see how we could even, I don't see how we could even think about complacency. We've seen what happens with, with a little bit of that, maybe, and maybe it was just, you know, FIU's a really good team. But you know, I hate to even go back to that one. But I think that's the learning point for us, and that one hurts so bad. I think that's the memory that I want our guys to have. Um, how bad that hurt, what the conference looks like, how good our conference is, and, and you know, <coughs> we want to play well at home. That's a big deal to us. So I, I don't see how that's possible, but we're going we're going to guard against it as well. Any factor whatsoever? This is the last home game it seems for like a month. So yeah. you always want to play well at home, but maybe especially this month. This week. Yeah, you know, and and I, it's home. You know, I mean that's what we want it to be a big deal. Yeah, we're going to be it's going to be a while where we're on the road. I think we're understanding what the road should look like. You know, that it it's total focus and it's got to be better and you against the world. I think they're starting to embrace that mentality. <laughs> and now we want to keep that home field advantage of how special it is to get to play in front of your family and friends and students. And we really want that to be a big deal, too. Talk a little bit about, is it Dejon Williams, the quarterback for UNC, when you got a young kid like that who has all the potential in the world? Yes. They can put it together for the four quarters of stretch or something. Well, you know, I mean, I think – no offense to anybody, but I think 70-something points against – I mean, it's hard to score 70 points on air. I mean, he is that talented. He is a tailback running the ball with a cannon for an arm, and they've designed the whole offense to fit him. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're good. I mean, they're good. They've been great defensively. You know, they had a great record last year. They've been really good in the kicking game. And now you've added a guy who can take it the distance running it. 
um, and they they spread it around. It's not just run. It's it's screens off every run. It's deep balls. It's multiple formations. Uh, really big up front. So yeah, he's he's the real deal. And um, once I think they made that decision to change, they also changed the offenses. So it's really not even the same team that they were early. When you have some of the local guys, like as far as kids who are playing high school football on Friday night, you have Madrikas, you have JJ, yeah. you have Jake on defense, just so many people out there making plays. I guess, does that make it a more, I, guess, I don't know if I'm making up a word, but relatability as yeah. far as the way the program is perceived? That really gives yeah. you an image. Yeah, I think so. I think anytime we can get, we can sign local guys and then they can produce. That helps you. You know, I think it gives you a – I think it's good for your fans because they want to go see their guys that they saw in high school. Uh, I think it's good for the students there. I think it's just – and it's good for that future guy that we want to get that says, wow, UAB is a great choice for me. You know, we talk all the time to our guys that, you know, where are you going to live, you know, after you graduate? And to be a guy that, you know, stays around the area. He's from this area. He gets his job around this area. Uh, that helps me in recruiting, you know, because it's a – it's a good thing for him, you know, because he's going to be well known. So, you know, I think, yes, I think <laughs> it's very relatable to, to the guys at the school, their families, and, and just our, you know, our fans in general. I, I think previously uh, the program tried to be like the school of the city, like the city school because right. you had the local kids. Right. That's an emphasis for you as well, maybe? Yeah, I think always. I think anytime we can get guys around, but we want, we want to be embraced by our city. We want to be part of it. You know, we've said that since we've been here. Uh, I mean, our fans have just been great in, you know, in our three home contests so far, just being here, great support. You know, like I said, we had great support on the road the other day. Didn't have a, you know, a ton of people had a good crowd, but, boy, they were loud and enthusiastic. So, yeah, we want to do a great job for our city. North Texas is a – they forced a lot of turnovers this year, the 14th in the country. Any emphasis this week in practice on, you know, taking care of the ball, anything special? Here? You know, it's our emphasis every week. You know, I think, you know, if we talked about – our one pick for the game with Cody sitting over here, I mean, it was an unbelievable play. You know, and he's trying to make something happen. But other than that, I mean, you know, he's 22 for 25. We did a great job securing the football. You know, and our thing for our guys was probably as good of effort as I've been around. And, and two times our running backs are fighting for that extra yard. With, even with pretty good ball security, sometimes that can happen. But, you know, our goal was zero. And then here's a team that really stresses it. And then defensively, we're stressed it all the time. So that's one of the things I think we got skewed a little bit against FIU, but it's huge. And then here's a team that's good at taking it away. So maybe even extra emphasis, as you, as you said, if that's possible. Coach, your offensive line, you know, it's five guys, pretty much played every yeah. snap, you know, all by you line. Kind of talk about just how they played and sort of their, their progression and, you know, what they did the way they played so far. Well, we started with asking them to be really, really physical. And then, you know, we were really up tempo. So, you know, here's guys that, that are, are, you know, not getting a lot of rest. You know, I think we had 80-something snaps. So just hats off to them. We really challenged them this week. We came back and really did a little more physicality against the defense this week. We felt like we needed that. And they responded, and that looked like what we wanted them to look like. You know, they really created some great holes. Playing play after play at a fast tempo. On those big guys, it's not always easy, and they've just they've boy they've done a good job. So you know, offensive line coaches and and them just hats off. And a lot of times you lose little things, you know, forget about little things in the game. But the play that Blankenship made, uh, running down that guy, I mean, that could be you know, that could have been a nine-five yard. Oh my gosh, that's 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 those games you look back in the history of a program and you say, that's a you know to me it's a defining moment for who I want us to be. Just the unbelievable effort. And you never quit. You never, you don't, you know, you could have sit there and watched it. And nobody in the world could have really said anything to you. You know, you're an offensive lineman. He turns and sprints and runs the guy down. I mean, it's, it's a good effort play as I've been around. And we had some other guys running with him. But for an offensive lineman to make that play, it's, it's really outstanding. Any other questions for Coach? <laughs> All right. Thank you all.